May I see your stores? All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. You are looking. I will see. Put that gear to good use out there. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away. A place of mystery, wonder, and a temple to a hidden god. The guardian of this temple was a proud man, kingly in nature, but not in fact. A protector of holy wisdom. And this protector had a wife, a scholar, who spent her days reading ancient tomes and deciphering the secrets of the desert. Together they had a son, in whom they hoped to instill all their skill and knowledge. The boy was to be a union of their love. But then it came to pass that the king of that land arrived to seize the temple for himself. The Protector resisted. In the battle that followed, the boy was killed and the temple was taken. Struck with grief, the Protector and the Scholar separated. A king who kills a child is an Ergi. They should kill him back. Indeed. But for a long time, the Protector and the Scholar followed solitary paths, seeking for a way to revenge their son. But in their isolation, they found only anguish and pain. Alone, they could do nothing but weep and thrash at the fates. After many fruitless years, they came together again to mourn their failure. They embraced as they had in their youth. And in that joining, they realized what was missing. Only the union that had produced their son would lead to their victory. So the Protector taught the Scholar to fight and ride and seek, while the Scholar taught the Protector wisdom and deep knowledge. As they trained and studied, they became inseparable, moving, eating, sleeping as one. They were never seen apart. Until one day, they met upon the river's edge. They had learned all they could, her from him, him from her. It was here they kissed and separated. She traveled east, he west. They were never seen again. It is said, however, that once every year, two eagles would return to that very spot to linger and look upon the sea. The people of the region like to see these eagles, for they are an omen, a symbol of protection. They turned into birds, like Loki became a salmon. Perhaps. Still, others say that the eagles were their children, born of a love that could never endure. But who is to say for sure? A stirring story. Fanciful, but sincere enough. Me? Fanciful? All of my stories are perfectly and mostly true. Greetings. Have you got a contract for me? There are... Monsters, this is with your skin. What do you have today? I have to go. Goodbye for now. Looks like it. An inspiring tale. Far more fitting than that terrible day. At least you changed my name. And... And she got a dragon in. Always with the dragons.
good day, my love. Ranvi. Our work is done in Oxenifertshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there, on the table. Fulke is with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order that Basim and Hytham are pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chelbert has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Chilbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chilbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupsha. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. I suppose it will do for the moment, though it lacks the grandiosity of the Empire at its peak. You don't like it?
regret the choices that led you here in the afterlife. Aid me, be my eyes. <laughs> We've had nothing for days. You think Not you can days. guzzle the grog? Is that a bottomless stomach I see? You win. We drink. There's drinking to be done. Who's with me? It smells good, that. There you go, young man. Curse this war. Say your thanks, Staggering already? Going to start. You are a bit green, friend. You are sweating. But be fierce, dirty, strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It is a grave thing to be elderman in the time of war, Jelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is a king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and snip the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. 
Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Ivar. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake.